Next, we have a Hyatt pattern, which I did a few more things to it. So let's listen to it without any of the plugins soloed first. So on this particular Hyatt pattern, first of all, I wanted to add a little bit more high frequencies. So I could have used the Harrison again. For this one, I just went with an EVQ. I found it very similar. This one is even more fragile. You just got to move it just a little bit. It does a lot and it's very, adds a lot of character. So often I'll just add a touch in the highs and in the mid highs a little bit. So let's solo without the EQ and then I'm going to engage the EQ after. So it just adds a touch of air to an already good sounding hi-hat. While I was mixing, I thought something could be nice is to add a little reflection. And I didn't want to think too hard. And I just grabbed the Echo Boy Jr. from Sound Toys, which I love because I love its simple interface. So I just wanted to kind of add a little bit more rhythm to it. So let's listen to it. Now let's hear it in context of the track. Again, it's very subtle, but it adds a little bit. And I think that's the point at this level in a song that already existed. And I just want to remix. I just want to add some, some subtle movement to the track, which is going to make it a little bit different. The last thing I did on the height pattern is I had a slight amount of chorus. So we're going to hear it in a solo with and without the chorus. All these changes are very subtle, but they will add to the overall sound that I want to get at the end of the mix. Mm -hmm. 